Huge surprise here. Yeah. We've seen rain for hours now. It's just that light pestery kind of rain. Yeah, it's probably a good idea because we're looking at the there's moderate rain and then there's on and off little sprinkles. Yeah. We're still in the moderate rain at Victory Field. I can actually show you put a tracker on it with Future Track 13 and Live Doppler 13. Uh, this so we usually use this for the timing of when storms are going to hit you, but we can also kind of reverse engineer it. We can take a look at the back edge of the consistent rain. Now I put the back edge there right over Martinsville, so you can still see a couple spotty sprinkles even south and west of Martinsville, but it's more of this consistent rain that we're going to try to get through Indianapolis. You can see the timing 703, so first pitch was going to be 635, uh, but maybe by about seven o'clock we can get the more consistent rain out, and that's much of the same across the Indy metro area and then just spotty showers on and off for the rest of this evening. We are slowly trying to dry out, but we've got a couple more rain chances to talk about later this evening and overnight tonight. The warm front technically hasn't made its way through yet, and as it does so, humidity is going to go up even more, and we're tracking some of these scattered downpours coming in from Illinois. But here's the thing. So you see some of these near Springfield farther to the north. These are likely to probably die out as they push towards central Indiana. The ones in southern Indiana may be able to sustain themselves. So some of these will probably come towards Bloomington, Columbus, Seymour, and eventually north and east towards Richmond and Brookville Lake, just because it's a little bit warmer, a little bit cooler farther to the north. So some of these may collapse, but some of these may be able to hold on. So something that we're tracking this evening for you. We're not expecting severe weather. We're just trying to figure out where these little downpours and showers will kind of go for the rest of this evening and overnight tonight. Once we get this thing out of here, which may take part of the day tomorrow as well, got a, a day of nice weather with some clear weather across the central plains. And then this is our next storm maker, the cold front that's coming into the Pacific Northwest that hits us next week. That's going to give us more chances for scattered showers and maybe some more stronger thunderstorms. But this evening, watch out for scattered showers. Everyone's going to have a different end time, but then Another shower or two may try to redevelop over time. A little bit of drizzle on and off for the rest of the overnight hours. I want to show you in a different way. Here are our rain zones. The rest this evening, the heaviest chances for rain will be east of Indianapolis. So you guys in Newcastle, Knightstown, Winchester, Richmond will be watching best chances for some scattered showers. Later overnight tonight, everyone still has a chance, but we're slowly pushing the heaviest rain chances farther off towards the east. This is tomorrow morning. Check with Lindsay. She'll show you the radar, but you'll most likely see best chances for rain from Indianapolis East. And by tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to get some sun, but it may take us a little bit longer the farther east you live. Still, Muncie, Newcastle, Richmond, Centerville. We're watching that final round of rain push on through clearing skies off towards the west, so that'll be some good news. But we got to get this rain zone and rain system out of here. We should get a little bit of sun tomorrow. That'd be good news. Highs topping out in the upper 70s today. We've been in the 60s and low 70s because of all the clouds. We should have a big warm up, Samantha. We've got mid 80s coming up for this week. Monday overall looks pretty good, but then we've got to watch middle of the week. Scattered storms are likely. Some of them may even turn severe. Best chance for severe weather probably would be Wednesday. All right, Matt, thank you.